Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set, do your board setup in KiCad for JLC PCB. The first thing you need to do is go to JLC PCB's website. Then you can do instant quote and when you do instant quote you get this uh, familiar screen here and it has certain specs that if you're not willing if you're not willing to pay for the the very best like I am you probably want to look at these specs because when you look at the capabilities we're gonna look at a little bit later they will say yeah we can do this but we might want to stick with this so for example minimum via hole size is 0.3 millimeters and the diameter of the via is 0.4 to 0.45 millimeters. I'm not sure where they have both numbers, but I would probably say 0.45 millimeters was my, um, you know, keep out there just to make sure that it uh, works. Okay, so now what we do is we go up here to uh, their capabilities page and we click on that. And if you look at their capabilities page, you will see lots of uh, possibilities here. Like uh, there's all these different categories here. And if you click on um, these different categories, you will see different um, capabilities and constraints. Notice you can pick what color you want here. Um, but um, we'll just look at some of these things here. For example, here you can get FR4. You know, we saw that before in the uh, instant quote and uh, how many layers you can have, um, FR4 constraints for two layer PCB, it says um, uh, it says 4.5, so whatever that means, uh, no, that's the dielectric constant, okay. So um, anyway, you can read all these things and generally there's a, 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 a drawing over here on the right that helps you understand what they're actually saying in case you don't understand it and there's things, assessed. for example, you need to look at all of these, but for example, um, trace width, they have a minimum spacing between trace is 0.1 millimeters, um, and it says track width and spacing, so you also see down here there's a minimum trace width and the minimum spacing between the two things, both of them 0.1 millimeters, and, and you have to read all of these things and look at the uh, pictures over here to make sure you understand them. <clears throat> then, once you've done that, you want to go to KiCad and you want to go to PCB New, the KiCad uh, layout editor. And up here under File, you go to Board Setup. And when you do Board Setup, you open this, um, this window. There's all these different windows here. The ones we're concerned are with the design rules, okay? So here's the constraints. So the minimum clearance I have set at 0.2 millimeters because I read that down there. The track width, remember, we saw that at 0.1 millimeters. Um, you know, the track to track could be 0.1 millimeters away, but I looked at other things and there were some other ones that I, it made me think maybe I'd go to 0.2. Okay, and you look at all these and you need to set all of them after you've read that JLC PCB page. Okay. Now there's also this predefined sizes and this is really handy because when you put these in here you can do that by just adding the plus and putting a new one or if you don't like what you got you can delete it. And and those things are handy because when you're uh, done here if you go up here notice there is point well at one millimeters, point one five millimeters and point two millimeters. I put those in and and so you've got uh, you've got what you want so suppose I did 0.1 millimeters I also uh, set a 0.2 millimeter clearance so this should be about 0.2 millimeters let me just go to a 0.2 millimeter grid here's a 0.1 millimeter grid maybe I should go well they have a 0.2 yeah 0.2 millimeter grid so if you notice this is going point that that's 0.2 millimeters <laughs> from uh, that red line right there to the uh, copper pad right there. Now generally I want a much smaller grid than that so we'll do like this. That means I can route my ra traces wherever and I'll show you what happens here. So if I try and route a trace through between these uh, two things I can do a trace like that and there's my trace. Now suppose I want to try and route another one to see whether it will work. Whether I can get two traces through between these uh, pads here 
and it looks like it works. And you can see there's space in between, and this red line kept the, the trace from going too close to that pad, and this red line kept this trace from going too close to that pad, and my minimum pad spacing is 0.1 millimeters. Looks like it's you know closer to you know 0.15 here, so I'm probably good with 0.15 traces if I want to only run two between these two pads. So <coughs> um, the other thing you need to do is you need to go to KeyCAD's um, project manager right here, and you need to click on calculator tools because when you make the traces too small. They're, they don't have enough or they have start having too much resistance. They don't have enough conductivity. So what you do is you go over here and you type in your minimum trace width, which for me was 0.1 millimeter. And then you hit enter here and it will tell you that uh, with 0.1 millimeter I get 0.221 amps with 2 degrees temperature rise. So um, that is plenty for my application, 220 milliamps. Uh, I, I could do uh, the whole board with these 0.1 millimeter traces. Now, probably I'll use 0.15 because it looked like they fit through as well, two, uh, two of them, and I don't think a 0.1 is going to make me get three through there, although I might try. Um, so, you know, those are the kind of things that uh, you need to think about when you're setting your your board setup and you need to do this before you place your parts before you route your board so um, there we have it and uh, we can close this calculator now and uh, go back here and uh, you know we can start placing our board so I need to erase these two traces that I didn't really need here so I hope that's good. I hope you have a good day and good luck with KeyCAD.